Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to review the NixOS Gnome desktop. So this is the login screen of the NixOS Gnome desktop. So you have got the accessibility features at the uh, top right, the network manager, the volume controls and the power manager is there. And here is the login uh, or the password field and you have got Gnome VLAN and Gnome XOP session. So by default, we will log into the Gnome VLAN session. So let us start. So this is how the Gnome desktop looks and the Gnome version is 42. I have disabled the Gnome 42 tool because it is unnecessary. At the bottom, you can see here the dock is there. So this dock is just like uh, what we see in the Fedora. Now let us check out the top uh, bar. So in the top panel or top bar, you have got the activities pill at the left, top left. In the middle, you have got the notification area, calendar, events, world clocks and the weather uh, location and selection and the weather uh, display. And at the uh, top right, you have got the volume control, simple volume control, network manager, power modes. So you got two power modes, balance and, and the power saver mode and you got further power settings from here. You got the settings uh, shortcut. You can lock your screen and there is this power manager at the bottom. Now let us check out the application. So it comes with the Gnome contacts, Gnome weather, Gnome clocks, the Gnome maps application is there, videos is there. Calculator is there, the document scanner is there, the Gnome settings are there, system monitor is there, the Gnome utilities, help, cheese, uh, Gnome extensions, Firefox, manage printing is there, NixOS manual is there, text editor is there, tour is there, and the XTERM is there. There are no uh, graphical utilities from NixOS. So, NixOS mainly uh, is to be managed from the terminal itself. So that's why they are not given any graphical utilities. But in many or most of the Linux distributions, you can find graphical utilities designed by the developers of that Linux distro. For example, in Endeavor, you can go for Arco Linux, OpenSUSE is there. All these Linux distributions have there some utilities developed by them, which help the user in better managing the system. So that nothing of that kind is found here. Only the NixOS manual is there and you can manage your NixOS from the terminal itself. So now uh, what we will do is uh, we will just check out the settings. What is there in the settings? So I will not go in the routine things because uh, it is very boring. So this is the routine uh, settings menu of the NixOS. Let us check out the about section. So you can see here. So memory is 4 GB. The Intel Core i3 processor is shown. It is 10 generation. Graphics is by the software rendering. Disk capacity is 26.8 GB. You can see the NixOS version is NixOS 22.04 Quica. It is 64 bit. Gnome version is 42.2. Windowing system is VLAN and the virtualization is by the KVM. Then there is nothing, nothing you can say additional given here. Everything is st standard Gnome desktop. So only two power modes are there, balanced and the power there. There is no performance mode given. Now let us go over to the appearance section. So in appearance sec uh, section, there are two styles, light and dark. And you have got this standard Gnome wallpapers are there. So you can just change over right now the uh, standard Gino, uh, this uh, NixOS Gnome desktop wallpaper that is uh, some shade of light uh, blue is given. So we can change over to the other uh, wallpapers and then we can check out. You can see here it looks very nice. What we will do is we will in the settings to the dash so we can easily open the dash we can change and check out the different wallpapers this is how it will look
there are further more wallpapers are this is a new wallpaper i think yes so this looks very nice and have you observed one thing whenever we close and open the settings the settings uh, app opens with the menu that was last access so we were assessing the appearance uh, section so the appearance section is directly opens up so whatever you do at the last will open up again when you next uh, open the settings app so we can go check out this also this is how it looks so wallpapers are quite nice trendy i like the wallpapers that are there in the nixo as gnome desktop so it is looking very subtle and beautiful and let us check out yes this this one was pending so this also looks very nice so all in all it is just a standard uh, the norm desktop that is supplied with the nix os nothing there is no extra decorations not any extra appearance no windows decoration nothing is there it is just plain gen uh, the norm desktop uh, just like it is found in the fedora in fedora fedora there are some extra utilities like for the example the different repositories are there so no no such thing is there here and you can see there is no the norm software center is also not available here in most of the Uh, Linux distribution, the GNOME software center is there, and plus the distributions offer their own software center, just like the PAMAC is there in Arco Linux. So like that, uh, so in, if you install Arco Linux on Manjaro GNOME desktop, so it comes with the PAMAC uh, software center in addition to the GNOME software center. So you got two software centers to install apps from, but here there is no software center. You have to directly install the all the apps from Nix OS only. because the nix os uh, builds the packages in isolation so to check safeguard from the malicious code injection during the development process and during the building process so the packages from the nix os uh, software manager are very secure and they will always work there is there will be no breakages when you install the app and you use the app so now how to install packages from the nix package manager that we will cover in a separate video so i am planning to do the short detailed reviews of the gnome desktop and the other desktop that are found in the nix os and once we complete the short desktop reviews of each of the desktops that are available in nix os then we will proceed how to update the system how to install uh, software packages from the nix package manager so you will get a very good uh, idea of the nix os operating system So now, what we will do is, let us check out the Nix OS package. Uh, uh, ma sorry, not uh, Nix OS package. Nix OS uh, manual. So I think it it will open up, or we have to double click. Let us see. So it opens up. Okay, so the manual opens up in the Firefox. I think there is no PDF viewer is there, so it will open up in the Firefox. So here you can see. everything is given how to use how to not use all those things all instructions are there here so we will check out everything how to do it but here let us check out the uh, gnome desktop so there are some instructions regarding the gnome desktop so all the core applications optional apps games and the core development tools from gnome are available to enable the gnome desktop use services.xserver.desktopmanager.gnome.enable is true services x server display manager dot gdm gdm is the display manager dot enable is true the default applications used in nix os are very minimal in spite of the defaults used in the gnome build meta so it is following the gnome build meta package so it will just install the minimal uh, applications from the gnome uh, the desktop so the applications dependencies of the gnome desktop minimal or minimal applications are installed and you can also have a gnome desktop without the application so if you want that you have to uh, use this services.gnome.coreutilities.enable is equal to false so that will just install the bare uh, bare minimum gnome desktop and all the core utilities of the gnome desktop won't be installed if you like 
to omit a subset of the core utilities you can use environment.gnome.exclude packages note this mechanism can only exclude core utilities games and the core development tools and if you want to disable the gnome services you have to use this services.gnome.tracker-minus.enable is false so it will uh, disable the trackers and uh, trackers and miners found in the gnome desktop so all those services of the trackers and miners will be disabled so it is a very privacy focused uh, desktop from the uh, nix so nix is very secure it is 100% reproducible so all the uh, system paths are almost 99% reproducible 97 or 99% reproducible and all the packages are built in isolation further to that you can disable the trackers miners uh, services from the gnome desktop here and in other in other desktop also you will be able to do th do this so services.gnome.tracker.enable is false so you have to uh, disable the services of trackers and miners using these two commands from the terminal so it is a terminal focused uh, operating system everything all you have to do is from the terminal there are no graphical applications found or developed by the NixOS developers for the users and you can use the gnome core developer tools so if you are a gnome developer you can enable the uh, core developer tools for that you have to uh, pass this command in the ter terminal that is services.gnome.core-developers-tool.enable is equal to true. Now, if you want to use the gnome flashback desktop, then you have to use this. So, you have to pass this, this command in the terminal services.xserver-desktopmanager-gnome, oh, sorry, dot gnome dot flashback dot enable metacity is equal to true. And it is also possible to create custom uh, sessions that replace Metacity with a different window manager using the services.xserver.desktopmanager.enome.flashback.custom uh, uh, sessions. So here there is an example given. So you have to script this in the xmonad window manager. So this will modify the xmonad to Let me just check. Yes, this will enable the uh, Gnome panel in the Xmonad. So Xmonad is a window manager. So you can use the Xmonad window manager inside the Gnome desktop. Now the icons and GTK themes. So icon themes and GTK themes don't require any special option to install in NixOS. You can add them to environment.system packages and switch to them with Gnome tweaks. If you like to do, do this manually in the dconf change the values of the following keys so you have to open the dconf and all these things you have to not do in terminal but you have to do in uh, this dconf so the dconf uh, you have to change uh, the values of this uh, what we say keys so these are the keys so you have to uh, change the values of the keys so o org gnome desktop interface gtk theme you have to change the keys of these things so how to the do i will all, i will also need to learn and check and learn and then i can do a, a separate video on this how to uh, change the system settings in the dconf editor and these are the some shell extensions so you can add the shell extension as environment dot system packages so here you can see the gnome extension dot dash dash to doc gnome extension dot gs connect so this is the gs connect app for the kd uh, so it will install the kd connect in the gnome desktop gnome extension mapris indicator button then you can do the g settings overrides so examples are given So everything can be done using the dconf editor. So first you will have to install the dconf editor. Dconf editor is not there. So how to install the dconf editor then edit the dconf editor values. Everything we will have to do a separate video. It is not possible to do everything here. And now can I use the light DM with Gnome? Yes, you can any any or any other display manager is can be also used in the NixOS Nix Gnome desktop. However, 
the lock screen might not work or it might not work for the valent session of the genome shell yet and it won't be able to lock your screen so i what i have told you so with this i will i think uh, stop the video let us check out see if anything is pending on the graphical part to be checked yes so there is this uh, web explorer is there i think it is the genome web explorer let me check yes it is the genome web explorer now there is uh, geary is there so you have got geary for your uh, email needs there is calendar the genome music is there genome photos is there the nautilus file manager is there so it comes with the standard uh, blue looking uh, folder icons settings is there and you have got these show applications nothing extra is given so with this uh, what is this let manage printing let us check out the printer manager okay so they have just given a uh, web interface for the printer manager but of course you can install the hp lip uh, printer uh, manager and the utilities of the hp printers and the uh, we can say drivers for the hp lip so you may not use or you can directly use this utility that is the cups 2.4.2 so you can install any or configure any uh, printer with the cups and if you want to have a specific hp lip uh, uh, we, uh, toolbox for your hp printer then you have to install the hp lip so now i will stop the video here see in the next video where we will do the installation of the other desktops so one by one we will do all the desktops check out and once the all the desktops are there i think there are five or six desktops are there once we have completed that i am not going to do the window managers because i am not that comfortable because i am not using window managers day to day i only use open box open box works very fine for me other uh, window managers i don't use because uh, i don't find it very comfortable to remember all those key bindings because most of the uh, window managers use lot of key bindings and you have to remember the key bindings so that is a hassle for me i want to focus on my uh, youtube channel so i always use the standard desktops so what we will do is we will complete the desktops very fastly and then we will start with the actual that is how to install how to update how to upgrade the nix os system so you will get a better idea and then i will have to do another video for the decomp editor so how to edit the settings we will do some one or two settings small settings so you will get an idea how to do it and later on once i get more expertise in uh, nix os i will i will share some more videos or you might learn it by yourself and go ahead of me also so that is also a good possibility so with this note i will stop the video see you in the next video with another nix os desktop bye